So in this video, I'll go over the seven best tips on how to save money. What is up YouTube, it's your boy Jay Rich, back at it with another video. If you like making money, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. So first and foremost, this video was sponsored by Google Pixel 4a. And Pixel 4a is an amazing phone that only starts at $349 on Google Store, which is an unheard price for a premium phone, so you guys can save a lot of money while still getting a top-notch quality phone. And I also wanna mention that Pixel 4a is packed with extra value. So once you get this phone, you get three months free of YouTube Premium, Google One, and Google Play Pass. And that comes with this phone. So for three months, you'll be able to listen the music at free on YouTube Premium, you get 100 gigabytes of storage on Google One, and you'll be able to play premium games on Google Play Pass. And what I really love about Pixel 4 is that it has an all day battery. So you probably have experience with other phones that the battery actually gets worse over time. Well, with Pixel 4a, the battery actually gets better over time as you use it. So this is an amazing investment, especially if you run multiple online businesses like me, because it's very important for you to always stay connected to your online business through your phone. And with Pixel 4a's long lasting battery, it allows you to do just that. And also to mention, probably the most popular feature about this phone is the amazing camera that features portrait mode and night sight, which is really, really good at night. So literally all these features included and the phone is still starting at only $349 on Google Store. So I use it and I definitely recommend buying Pixel 4a so thank you again to google pixel 4a for sponsoring this video so this video is going to be a little bit different than what i normally have on my channel i usually teach you guys how to get the bag but i never really taught you guys how to keep that bag because in reality it's not how much money you can make it's how much money you keep so let's go over the seven best tips on how to save money but before i get into it i do want to say that the financial advice in this video reflect my personal opinions only and is not endorsed by google nor any of its affiliates so with that being said let's go over the seven best tips on how to save money so i actually asked my followers what their best tip was on how they were able to save money and some of the answers that they gave were pretty interesting so this person says if you can't afford two of them you can't buy one which is actually really really smart it might help a lot of you and this person says don't be around people who spend a lot which is really really true you definitely do not want to be around a lot of people who spend a lot of money that might influence you to spend a lot of money too and this person says that he keeps cash during quarantine because it's harder to spend right now and that's actually really really smart there's a lot of businesses out there that are not accepting cash so that might force you to actually keep your money and lastly this person says that he sold a number for fifty thousand dollars two days ago and now he doesn't have to pay for food anymore and that's obviously a joke but i'm about to show you guys that you definitely do not need to sell your stomach and that there's some pretty easy tips that will allow you to save a lot of money so let's go over them so tip number one is to set a budget so you definitely need a budget if you're trying to save any kind of money there's a lot of people out there that are just spending money recklessly and they don't have anything to be disciplined to because they do not have a budget for themselves so definitely make a budget set an amount that you do not want to go over for the year for the month for the week and for the day then stick to it, become disciplined to it. And by doing this, you guys will save a ton of money. Tip number two is to automate your savings. So this is how you get the money to your savings. So whatever kind of income that you have, whatever money that you get, decide on what amount of that money that you wanna to give to your savings and be disciplined on this. So the best bet is for a lot of you guys to decide on what percentage of the income that you get is going to your savings account. So for example, a good amount for a lot of you starting off is to send 20% of whatever income that you get to your savings account. So for this example, 20% of whatever money you make is going to your savings account no matter what and you definitely do want to automate this a lot of banks have that feature but if not you can do it yourself but definitely stick to this be disciplined to it and as you go further on you can increase the percentage but definitely be disciplined to it and this will allow you to save a ton of money tip number three is to discipline your spending so for this tip you don't necessarily have to stop spending completely but you do have to stop spending money on things that you do not need so a lot of times we spend a lot of money on things that we want but do not need and this is a crucial step in order to save a lot of money so I definitely recommend whenever you're thinking about purchasing something, ask yourself, do I need this or do I want this? And if you want it, but do not need it, hold on on that purchase for now because your goal is to save a lot of money, the most amount of money as possible. So you definitely need to be disciplined and only buy stuff that you need. So tip number four applies to the last tip and this is a three day rule. So for example, if you see some shoes being advertised and you wanna buy it, do not buy it right away. So give yourself three days to think about it. If after three days you still wanna buy it, then maybe get it. But if after three days you don't wanna buy it, you won't buy it. So by doing this, you're actually giving yourself time to think about the purchase rather than just buying it right away, which is just an impulse purchase. And impulse purchases will take a ton of your money, but if you stop them before they happen, you will save a lot of your money. Tip number five is to increase your income. So the quickest way to save more money is to make more money, but before you do make more money, you need to be disciplined in order to save some of that money that you make. And as you get more disciplined and you're saving whatever percentage of the money that you're making and you make more money, you're only going to save a lot more than what you were previously when you were making less. And if you just increase your income without being being disciplined to save money, it doesn't really matter how much money you make. That quote is very, very true. It doesn't matter how much money you make, it matters how much you keep. So as
as you increase your income, continue to be more disciplined to save money and to save that income, and you will save a lot of money in the long run. Tip number six is to plan a visual goal. So in order for you to go somewhere, you need to know exactly where that somewhere is that you want to go to. So by setting a visual money saving goal, you're knowing exactly how much money you want to save. So for example, if you set a visual goal to save $10,000 by the end of the year, you're going to be more disciplined to reach that $10,000 as you were if you didn't have that goal set. So I definitely recommend setting a goal of exactly how much money you want to save so that you can be disciplined to reach that goal and save that money. Final tip number seven is to change your mindset. So you need to change your mindset on how you look at money. So a lot of people look at money as something you could just spend, but you need to change your mindset and look at money as a tool and as freedom. So my mindset on money is money is a tool. Money can make me more money. So instead of me spending it, I can actually invest that money. And by just putting my money there, it's actually making me more money. So by looking at it like this, I'm extremely more motivated to invest my money for it to make more money as opposed to me just spending it. And then my mindset is also to look at money as freedom. So by me investing that money instead of spending it, that money that I invested made me more money. So now I have the freedom to spend it and still have some money left over. So these are my seven best tips on how to save money. And I truly believe that if you follow these tips, you will not only save a ton of money, you become more disciplined and you also create a life full of freedom that you truly deserve. So before I let you go, you know I gotta leave an inspirational quote for all you future millionaires out there watching this. And that quote is life is like a camera. If you focus on what's important, you capture it perfectly. And until then, my friends, be great. And thanks again to Google Pixel 4a for sponsoring this video.